Hey, it's Tony in Emerald Isle, North Carolina. I hope you can see that rainbow behind me. When you are writing for planned giving, you have to keep in mind that you are writing for people in their 70s, 80s, and possibly even 90s. What that means is if you're asking them to write for a reply card, it could be difficult for them. Take a look at this example. Uh, this woman is uh, in her mid-80s. It has nothing to do with direct mail. It, it's, it's related to something else. But look at the writing. You can see how it's difficult. It may even have been painful for her to fill out this form. So when you are planning your direct mail pieces, your reply pieces, have as few spaces for people to fill in as possible. I prefer just check boxes and everything else filled in for them. Certainly their name and their address. Now I know that in direct mail that costs more, but again, think of the possible pain and difficulty for people in their 70s and 80s and even perhaps 90s to write, to fill out your reply card so they can identify themselves with information that you've probably already got. In fact, you do have it, because otherwise they wouldn't have gotten the piece. You've got their name and address already. Take the time, spend the money, and pre-address the reply cards, and just have people fill out uh, a, maybe a phone number or an email if you need that. But I think the best bet is just have them check boxes. It's so much easier for the older people you're writing for in planned giving. And you just need to keep them in mind. Hope this helps you out for planned giving. Thanks a lot.